What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. You wanna know what I find funny besides the really funny jokes I tell on our channel of course? What do you call a fake noodle? Uh, I don't know. An impasta. <laughs> But really though, what's really interesting and kind of funny is that people with a winner mindset will always find a way to MIH, make it happen, no matter what obstacles you throw at them, and people with a loser mindset will always find an excuse no matter how many opportunities you show them. And this becomes really true when it comes to your money. It's no surprise that most Americans are broke. Like 78% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck and 61% of Americans don't have $1,000 put aside to cover an emergency. We can point fingers at the root of the problem, but the reality is 90% of money problems have nothing to do with the amount of money you make. It's what you do with the money you make. Let me show you what I mean. But before I get into it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below, right below the screen, and subscribe to the Minority Mindset YouTube channel because we release new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On the Minority Mindset Instagram page, we shared a post a little while ago that said, if you invest $475 a month, which is the average car payment in the United States in a low cost index fund, and you can maintain an average 10% return in 10 years, you would have over $110,000, and in 30 years, you would be a millionaire. And this post triggered a lot of people. But uh, I need a car to get to work. OMG, where am I gonna get a consistent guaranteed 10% return? Dude, I don't want to wait 30 years to become a millionaire. I get it. Hearing things like, you should not buy a luxury car until you can afford it hurts. But let's talk about this. First, you need a car. I get it. But do you really need a car that's costing you $475 a month when you have no investments? Ooh. You have no savings? Eee and no other streams of income outside of your job? Oh man, no, I don't want it anymore. Your car is a consumer expense. It's a liability that just depreciates in value. If you wanna buy a nice car or a luxury car or a supercar, cool, I have no problem with that, but make sure you can afford it without financing it first. Ew, I hate that A word. Afford. Financing a car that depreciates in value is like going to the store and seeing a shirt that's on sale for $20. And then you go up to the cashier and you say, hey cashier, I'd like to buy this shirt and thank you for the discount. But you know what? I'll pay you $50 for this shirt, even though it's on sale for 20. Who in the world would offer to pay $50 for a $20 shirt? Well, that's what happens when you finance a brand new car. You're gonna end up paying $50,000 to drive around on a car that's only worth 20. Now, let's talk about the returns on your money. Do you have a sibling or a kid that when they would get yelled at, they would throw a fit and say, I'm not eating, as if, them not eating is a punishment to you and everyone else? Yeah, uh, that's how it works with investing. Anytime I talk about investing your money, which is a lot, you have this certain group of people that get so offended that they need to tell the whole world that they are not going to invest. <gasps> I'm not investing! You're right, a 10% annual return is not guaranteed. I mean, you're never guaranteed to make money when you invest. You might even lose money and some years are gonna be better than others. But what if instead of averaging a 10% annual return, you averaged a 7% annual return over the long run? Is that so bad? Or what if you averaged a 5% annual return? Isn't that better than being broke? Like, okay, let me put some numbers on this. Let's say you do this whole investing thing and you do it for a while and you don't end up with a million dollars because you didn't have the best investments, but you end up with $500,000, a half a million dollars. Isn't that better than the zero dollars you have right now? Oh, no, if I don't get a million, I don't want anything. And then you have the people who say 30 years to become a millionaire, screw all that. Okay, well, if you don't wanna wait 30 years to become a millionaire, then invest more money. I don't wanna sacrifice more of my money. I got things I need to buy. Okay, then spend your free time starting a business so you can earn more money. You crazy? I wanna have a life. I need to hang out with my friends. Okay, then why don't you try waking up an hour earlier to get some work done then? Dude, 
I can't believe you just said that. That's so unhealthy. I need to get my sleep. This way, I can go out with my friends and drink a lot and eat like crap all weekend. Okay, so let me make sure I have this straight. Not only do you want your car and your nice things today, but you're not willing to sacrifice your luxuries and you're not willing to take a risk or put in the work to start a business to create more income because your only two options are become a millionaire by next month or say screw it, I'll stay broke forever. Finally, you're starting to understand me, Just Breathe. Look, investing is not a way to get rich quick. I don't know who sold you that idea. Investing is a way for you to use your money as a tool so you can generate more income. And if you want to earn more money by starting a business, you're going to have to work your butt off to do that. If you want to fast track your way to success, you can 100% do that. But then you're going to have to make more sacrifices so you can invest more money and earn more income. There's no other way around that unless you win the lottery. And if you're subscribed to the Minority Mindset YouTube channel, you know my thoughts on the lottery. And just in case you don't, I will link a video in the description below for you to watch after this video with my thoughts on the lottery. Earlier this year, I went to Punjab, which is a state in India, to visit my family. And this trip was very interesting. Not just because I got to spend a lot of time with my family, but because I really studied the financial habits of people in India and compared that to people in America. And they are two polar opposites. In America, the majority of people earn $1 to then go out and spend $1.20 or $2 with credit cards and loans and financing. And stores even encourage this with store credit cards and no money down financing and all of that. In India, people earn $1 to then spend 20 cents. Like when we went shopping, there were signs that said things like, let me read this to you, Udar bilkul band hai. Udar mang ke sharminda na karo, which essentially says, Credit is banned. Don't embarrass me, the shop owner, by asking for credit. So pay for yourself with cash or don't buy it. Now, when it comes to being smart with your money, neither of these are really the best option. I mean, living like you're broke your whole life isn't the best financial planning, but either is living a lifestyle that you can't afford. You need to be somewhere in the middle. If you wanna stop being broke, here's exactly what you need to do. First, stop financing things completely. The simplest thing to do is to follow our rule of five. If you can't buy five of them, you can't afford one of them. Once you start living like this, you'll see that you have some extra money. Hey, wait, where did you come from? Now, take this extra money that you have and stop saving it and start investing it so you can start generating more income. If you start investing and you realize, Hmm, man, I wish I had more money that I could invest so I could create more passive income. Then you're gonna need to put in that work to start a side business or a business this way you can generate more money that you can invest. And this is more accessible now than ever because of the internet. You can't sacrifice the sacrifice. The majority of people are looking for an easy way around it. But if that was the case, then the majority of people wouldn't be broke. So if you don't wanna end up like the majority of people, you can't keep doing what the majority of people do. And if you're looking for tips on how to earn more money or how to invest your money so you can generate more income, I'll link videos where I explain how to do this in the description below. Check them out. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss any videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. That way you actually find out when the new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.